Thank you, Jesus. Everlasting Father, we say thank you for another beautiful day. Ancient of days, we thank you. The lion in the tribe of Judah, we say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. We appreciate you, Father, from depth of our heart. We glorify your mighty name, Father. Be glorified, King of Kings. We return the glory, the honor, and adoration to you. Father, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Everlasting Father, thank you. The rose of Sharon, thank you. The lily of the valley, we say thank you. I am that I am, we say thank you. Holy Spirit, we say thank you. Be thy exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, everlasting Father. For another beautiful day, we say thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. I greet you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. My name is G.A. David from Richmond Hill, Canada. As we all know that today's program, today's Tuesday's program, is specially made and designed by the special grace of God for families. Hallelujah. Family is the most important unit the, the Lord established. Family, I take it again. Family is the most important unit. The first the Lord established and the last devil is attacking. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, today's message is specially designed for marriages, for family. In order to be opening everyone's eyes to the loophole that Satan uses to attack marriage in order to take dominion of marriage. Hallelujah. At the same time, as we all know, like I'm emphasizing that today's message based on the based and designed for family in order to know to to be opening everyone's eyes to the tactics, the tools and devices that Satan uses in order to take dominion of marriage, in order to, to penetrate into marriages, in order to start mesmerize the marriages. Hallelujah. I pray your marriage will not be mesmerized in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I block every loophole of Satan in your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Nothing shall by any means hurt your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nothing shall by any means steal your joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall by any means steal your happiness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, I shall be taking my today's proof test from the book of James 1, 19 to 20. James chapter 1, verse 19 to 20. I read, So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow, slow to speak, slow to wrath, that is, slow to anger. Hallelujah. I take it again. So let my, so then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow, slow to speak, slow to wrath, that is, you have to slow to, you know, that is wrath. Like if you Google, if you, if you know the, the meaning of wrath is anger. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. That is, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. This, today's, uh, this proof test shall be leading us to our today's message. Destroying the spirit of anger in your marriage. Hallelujah. Destroying the spirit of anger in your marriage. What is, do you really know how, how dangerous this, um, the spirit of anger, how dangerous it is for someone to be attacking with the spirit of anger or for someone to be possessed of the spirit of anger? Hallelujah. Do you know in, in the, um, you, when you see there are many marriages that um, that anger have you know wounded. There are many marriages that anger have chattered their marriage. You know, there are many. I mean to say that there are many marriages that have been destroyed with the spirit of anger. Why majority of people that are you know, the, the majority of people do not know the power or the, the, the danger behind that, behind the spirit of anger. Hallelujah. When we are talking of spirit of anger, sometimes people do not know that they have that spirit. People do not know that that spirit or that that spirit let me take it this way that people do not know that that spirit is a killer in marriages people do not know that that spirit is is a killer in relationship i take it like that hallelujah when we are talking of anger you will see you know that's why you see many marriages that's why you see that your husband we please you with everything, yet you still be angry with him. That's why you will see that your wife will please you with everything, yet you will still be angry with her. You, you know, if you look at the marriages of, the, you know, many marriages of nowadays, you will see sometimes why we be so much submissive to the husband, yet husband will still be angry at her. Sometimes when they are cracking little jokes, it will lead to fight. It will lead to, you know, it will lead to quarrel. Sometimes when anyone does anything within the spouse, before you know it, little thing will be escalated to, you know, to, 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 you know, to the, you know, to the extent that none of them has ever expected. What am I saying in essence is this, when we are talking of anger, anger is a very dangerous thing in relationship. Anger is a very, very dangerous thing in relationship. It's a killer in, a, in every relationship. You know, and uh, I want to open your eyes to something. I'm still going to take the, uh, I would like to take this proof test again. But before I take it again, I'd like to open your eyes to something. You know, majority of people do not know that anger is own is a spirit. They don't know that 
Anger is a is a is a, is a, is a, is, a, is, a, is a killer. They don't know that anger is a spirit that destroys relationship, that destroys even destiny. That you know, some people, you know, some 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 people, you know, got it, you know, inherit, you know, inherited that anger from their parents. Some people inherited that anger from the mother. You know, some people inherited that spirit from the father. You know, there are some there are some lineage that has you know that has been afflicted with that anger. That's why you see a, a father will be very, very violent, you know, with the spirit, you know, operating with the spirit of anger. Before you before you approach him, him with little thing, you know, it will flare up. Any little thing will be escalated. That's why as soon as that father have any any child, such child would be, you know, we have that kind of spirit as well. Be, you know, we do, you know, we li with little thing, such child will start being, you know, we be making things being escalated, you know, elaborate things with anger. So what I'm saying, this is this, you know, there is um is a spirit that you know that afflicted people and at the same time that people inherit from their parents from their lineage from their generation hallelujah and i, I would still like to take this proof test again uh james 1 verse 19 to 20. so then my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak Slow to wrath, that's slow to, you know, slow to angry. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. That means, I take it, I take that 20 again. For the, that means, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. That's the righteous, you know, the anger of, of, of the anger of man the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. There's no how, when we're talking of anger, anger is a, you know, I'm emphasizing on it because I, I because I, I, I knew how, 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 how powerful, how dangerous it is in relationship. For the, because I know that is a killer in relationship. By the special grace of God, when the Spirit of God is present to my heart this evening, I said, wow. Because the reason why, based on the fact that I know that is a killer, and it's one of the devices, is one of the tools that Satan uses to destroy relationship. If you see, if you look at many marriages that have been chattered, that have been destroyed today, many marriages that have been, you know, wounded, Many marriages that have been separated, if you look at what caused the, 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 what caused the problem, you will see that it's just a minor thing that could be solved within just the cone of an eye. But because someone in that family, someone within the spouse, has been afflicted with the spirit of anger. Because someone in within the spouse inherited the spirit of anger that's why you will see some people why they will be speaking to them majority of people many people many you know reputable people respect you know you know reputable people will be talking to him or her begging him or her in order for that marriage to be reestablished yet he will say will never he or she will say you, he will not listen or she will not listen. Some people will say, as far as I'm concerned, no one under this earth can talk to me. I have decided what made him decide. What caused the problem? What, what does, you know, what made, the, what made her decide? What made he decide? She decided, he decided that he or she is not going to establish that marriage again. But the, but the fact remains that 
the spirit of the, 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 the they don't know they are not aware of the things of the spirit they do not know that there is a force behind that action they do not know that there's a there's a particular killer behind that action even some people sometimes it may be something so you know people that are just being attacked by by anger after after once they have done it as soon as they have done it as soon as they have taken a rational decision they will now come back to their senses and realize what they have done is not good however sometimes there are some decisions that might have made that could not be revised or revived you know that could not be revised or revived hallelujah 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 so what i'm saying in essence is this some people used to be attacked by this by that spirit of anger but as soon as they have taken that decision as soon as they have um taking irras irrational decision which could not be revived which which could not be returned which could not be um you know you know situation that could not be revised they will now realize that what they have done you know what they have done is totally wrong however some people will not know because they have been possessed of that spirit even though if they are going astray they will still be you know they will still be adamant of that of their of that irrational decision i wonder some people will still be bragging that this is how my father this is how my father does this is how my mother does i got it from my mother i got it from my mom i got it from my father what are we talking about spirit of anger they don't know that the spirit that you know the thought is just a character is a spirit that kill relationship that still destiny that destroy future hallelujah so uh by the special grace of god this is to open your eyes to it that to know to let you know that and that anger is a spirit and it's one of the tools that satan uses in order to destroy relationship hallelujah hallelujah but i want you to know something before you could understand the fact that it is something that you have to deal with it is something that you have to deal with and the bible says we wrestle not against the flesh and blood but against principalities against power against the rule out of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places when we are talking of spirits, you know, we have our, we, our enemy is a person without body. Our enemy is a person without flesh. Our enemy is a person that walks about like a roaring lion seeking womb he may devour. Hallelujah. What, so what I'm saying in essence is this. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That is our enemy, Satan. The Bible says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, your enemy, devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. What I'm saying next is this. Our enemy, Satan, has afflicted many people with the spirit of anger. Satan has afflicted many spouses with the spirit of anger. Satan has afflicted many men with the spirit of anger. Satan has afflicted many women with the spirit of anger. Because of what? Because it's one of the tools he uses in order to destroy marriages, in order to destroy relationship, because he never wanted that your marriage to stand, he never wanted marriages to stand. 
That's why you have work to do. You have to deal with that spirit. You have to deal with that spirit. You have work to do. And the Bible says, we wrestle not against the flesh and blood. So we are not wrestling with somebody. This is spirit. Our enemy, like I said, is a person without body. It's spirit. Now you have to do with, you have to deal with that spirit, that spirit of anger, because it's a killer that destroys marriages, that destroys relationships, that destroys even you know that that chatter destiny that still glory. So as you are hearing the sound of my voice today, I want you to have deal with that spirit. If you if you know think. Put yourself in spirit. Sit very well. Sit tight. See where you are not making it right. Some people do not know that they are being afflicted with that spirit. Some people will just be, you know, being attacked with that spirit. That's, that, that, that's the category of people that I, that I said that they will realize what they have done, you know, that is wrong after when they have taken irrational decision. But some people have been possessed of that spirit that the end, they will not know that what they have taken, they will be so adamant even when they are taking irrational decision. Even they will be so adamant when they are, you know, separating, you know, when, when they are filing for divorce. Why they know that God is not happy with divorce? They will be adamant by taking irrational decision by telling their spouse that they are not doing again by separation. Some people, after when once they have taken the irrational decision, they will decide, they will, they, they, they will come to realize that the step that they have taken is not right. Hallelujah. As you are hearing the sound of my voice, I want you to put yourself in spirit. Because you have to deal with that spirit right now. Now. You have to deal with that spirit right now. You have to deal with that spirit right now. The Bible says, our weapon of warfare are not carnal, but mighty true God to the pulling down of strong oaths. Put yourself in spirit. I want to I want to pray with you. Put yourself in spirit. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Put yourself in spirit. I pray for you as you are hearing the sound of my voice. Is there any spirit that is attacking, that is affecting your marriage? I destroy them by the power of the Holy Spirit. I consume them with the Holy Ghost fire. Every spirit of anger I destroy every spirit of anger in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast away and I bind every spirit of anger and be sent to the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of anger, any spirit from the pit of hell, cast fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spirit that is attacking your marriage, that is attacking your relationship, that is planning to destroy your marriage, planning to destroy your relationship, cast fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Cast fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit, spirit of anger, out in your life in Jesus' name. Spirit of anger, out in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Contrary spirit, out in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every fa 
familiar spirit out in, Je in Jesus' mighty name. Familiar spirit out in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of anger out in Jesus' mighty name. Infirmity out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every inherited spirit, every spirit that you inherited that is not of God, I cast them out of your life and I consume them with Holy Ghost fire. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. All marriages that have been chattered, I repair it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I repair your marriage in Jesus' name. I heal every I heal your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. All marriages that are sick, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. All marriages that have been chattered, I reunite you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be united. Be united in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak reconciliation to your marriage. I speak God's standard to your marriage. I speak God happiness. I speak happiness to your marriage. I speak happiness to your marriage. I speak love to your marriage. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Spirit of anger, be cast out in Jesus' name. Spirit of anger, be cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of anger, be cast out in, in Jesus' name. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt your marriage. Nothing shall by any means hurt your husband. Nothing shall by any means hurt your wife. Nothing shall by any means hurt your children. Nothing shall by any means hurt your destiny. Nothing shall by any means hurt your glory. Nothing shall by any means hurt your blessing. Your joy will not be stolen. Your blessing will not be stolen. Your breakthrough will not be stolen. Be blessed. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Arise and shine. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you for the answer prayer. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. I believe by the special grace of God that you are being blessed and every spirit that is not related to the spirit of God that is disturbing your marriage has been cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray almighty God will bless his word the more in the midst of your heart and I, and I plead the blood of Jesus on your marriage. I cover your marriage with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your wife with the blood of Jesus. I cover your husband with the blood of Jesus. I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that pertains to your life with the blood of Jesus. I cover all your footsteps with the blood of Jesus. I believe you have been blessed and you have been delivered. You have been set free and arise and shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the special grace of God, as we all know that today's, today's Tuesday's program is specially designed for relationships for for marriages for relationship and um i believe you'll be blessed and uh again my name is ga david from richmond eu canada and kindly 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 share this message let other people be blessed as well and um at the same time if you like to hear more of this message kindly subscribe to our youtube channel regain global tv and on facebook ga david ministry by the special grace of god till next week that we shall be uh, bringing another special edition of this program. Stay in faith and remain blessed. Shalom.